Have you ever wondered to yourself, what are the best months of the year to fish for Florida Pompano? Well, stick around because here on Pompano Brownie, we're going to show you that with real data from the Florida Fish and Wildlife website. So let's get started. All right, then. Well, uh, you want to know the best months to catch Florida Pompano. I could give you my opinion, but that's just one person. So we're going to give you real data from Florida Fish and Wildlife and let's let's show you how to get there. Uh, all you got to do is open up your web browser and do a search for commercial fisheries landing summaries and you're going to get a couple hits. It may take you to this site which will inevitably bring you to this one. Uh, you may if you click on this one uh, at the top it's going to bring you here and you may have to scroll down and uh, you have to uh, click on the link for the commercial fisheries landing summary or uh, what I like to do is just click on this second link here and it's going to it's going to bring you right there so um, let's go to that site and you can see the, uh, the URL here if you want to write that down but anyways once you're there uh, this website is actually going to generate a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And if you don't have all that, don't worry about it. Because I just wanted to show you how I got the data. You know, you don't have to do this. But if you do have Excel, well, go ahead and run a couple reports. What we're going to concentrate on today is, you know, running reports that show us from commercial fisheries. Those are the people that harvest all that um, fish from commercial fishermen and uh, we're going to do a particular search on Pompano and keep in mind that you know th this data is uh, coming from all the fisheries every time a commercial fisherman you know uh, sells his catch he has to fill out a uh, triptych and uh, and that's all registered with Florida Fish and Wildlife so this is real stuff here now what I did was, is I did searches between 2016 and 2021. You can change the dates to anything you want, but I wanted something a little more pertinent the last five years. Keep in mind the data for 2021 uh, won't be complete because the year isn't over. But uh, in the case of uh, running reports, well, what I was concerned with is, um, you know, I wanted to know the uh, the amount of fish that were caught in every month of the year for those five years. So uh, I, I scroll down here and I find Pompano and you highlight that and on the first report I just went to area description and uh, I export the report and it downloads to your download folder and uh, let's open up the first report I'm going to show you what I got. Now keep in mind I've tweaked this a little bit and made it a little easier to read, but it shows you here that the uh, this uh, landing summary that was generated from that website is from 2016 to 2021. And what I did was I highlighted in red by year the uh, the top numbers for that year. And uh, keep in mind that I did sort by trips. You know how many fishermen came to sell their fish in that year. Pounds are a little misleading because, you know, some of these commercial fishing boats are bringing in tons of pompano. So I wanted to know how much activity there was at that commercial uh, fishery uh, for the whole state for the year. And, and this is what I got. You know, you've got uh, a bunch of entries here, but all we're really concerned with is, let's say, the, you know, the top... 10 or 15 and I've highlighted the years that had the highest figures in red so you can see here that uh, let's take the first line here 2018 uh, the top month was December uh, they had uh, 32,603 pounds 985 trips also shows what the Pompano were selling for if you have a you know a a special license that allows you to sell uh, Pompano, which is a restricted species, otherwise known as an RS. And I've got videos on that if you want to check it out. But 
anyways, and then I found uh, 2019, 20, 2016, and basically, if, if you look at these for all the years that are in red, you can see that um, the real good fishing is pretty much starting in December. Now you've got a little blip on the radar here. November uh, does have uh, good fishing as well, but uh, I'm always fishing from the beach. And I've always found that it's a little more comfortable too if you start in December. And you can see through uh, these numbers here that, you know, December through April are definitely the best months. So there it is. And, th and these numbers don't lie. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you that I thought was kind of cool was, well, where are they catching all these pompano? Keep in mind that there are commercial fish houses all over the state of Florida. And uh, I wanted to run reports on that too. So I've got a report on counties that are landed. And you can see here that um, we've got uh, St. Lucie looks like it's uh, it's topping things out. Um, it looks like Palm Beach is, you know, is a close second on that. And what I want to do is I want to show you uh, pictures of each county, and we'll we'll start with uh, we'll start with with number ten, and we'll work our way back to number one. But uh, number ten is Pinellas County, and that's over on the west coast over near St. Pete and moving along uh, number nine is Okaloosa and keep in mind that this is the county where the commercial fishery probably resides that's why it shows that county but that's a little misleading there's a lot of beaches that are selling their fish to these uh, commercial fisheries within Okaloosa so just because this beach over here, uh, you know, Orange Beach, well, that's heavily fish, lots of Pompano. You know, it doesn't mean there isn't any fish unless you get over here to Fort Walton or whatever. That just, that county is usually uh, where the, uh, the fish house is. And the fishermen may put the county where it was, uh, where it was caught. And I don't know what the county is for Orange Beach, but you have to keep that in mind uh, that a lot of times the, uh, the county portion of the triptych may not be filled out, but you can bet your bottom dollar that if they don't fill it out, they're just going to put the county where the fish house is. Uh, number eight, we got uh, we've got Manatee County, which is also on the uh, west coast, south of Tampa. Number seven, we've got Lee County, and that is also on the west coast uh, near. Fort Myers area, all those beaches. Number six, we got Volusia. We're over on the East Coast now, and Volusia is that whole Daytona area, so uh, good fishing area there. Uh, closing in on the top five here, and uh, number five is Martin County. That is uh, this area here. Uh, the area I'm always fishing in is up here around the uh, Fort Pierce area. But that's where that is on the East Coast. Number four is Brewerd County, or Brevard, I'm sorry. Brevard County. And, um, you know, Cocoa Beach area. Keep in mind, too, that uh, people that are fishing Sebastian may be reporting it as Brevard. You know, maybe they live in Brevard and they're fishing, but this is a, a real hot spot on the East Coast. And this is all relatively close to that Fort Pierce area, too. Vero Beach is right next to Fort Pierce. Let's, uh, let's go to number three. And we've got Indian River County. Once again, very close uh, to Vero. Fort Pierce is uh, a little south of that. Uh, number two is Palm Beach. And all these beaches along uh, West Palm. Uh, you got a lot of fishing going on in Jupiter too. And uh, you can do your own research on the actual beaches, but you never know which beach they're going to hit on. And the number one 
County for catching Pompano is uh, Port St. Lucie or St. Lucie, I'm sorry, not Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie's down here, but this is St. Lucie County. That's just the name of a, a city. So, and this is all derived from real data. You know, I know it might uh, ruffle a few feathers, and some people who live in other counties might say, hey, we catch way more. Well, the, the science doesn't lie. This is where it's at. And you can, you can go to the website yourself, and you can run your own reports, and it's kind of interesting to see, you know, on the different type of fish. You know, maybe you're not going for Pompano, but I know that's my target. And that's usually the target of a commercial fisherman because if you look at some of these landings, you know, you can see that the uh, these are the prices at the time, the average prices. So if I'm a commercial fisherman and I can catch a, a boatload of uh, fish at... Uh, uh, over five dollars a pound, sometimes uh, up to six dollars a pound. Look at this in March of 2018; it was up to 6.45. You know that's that's one of the heavily targeted fish in Florida. So, you know that's it. Uh, I, I hope that uh, you know this has helped you. I, I hope that uh, you've learned a lot from this. And if you did enjoy the video, please subscribe to the Pompano Brownie channel, and that'll do it for this video.